What up internet, this is Chris coming at you from sunny South Florida. You're about to watch one of my math videos, so I just want to let you know that the technology I use in this video can also be used in a live online web meeting. What does that mean? That means whatever is on my screen you can also see on your screen. That means that we can talk to each other live at the same time. That means that while I do an example for you, you can ask me questions if you don't understand anything. This is just like having a one-on-one -on -one tutor, except even more effective because everything is being recorded. So later on in the week, if you forget anything that we covered, you can go back, watch the video, and refresh your memory. I deliver the material in a way that's very easy to understand, even if you hate math. So if you would like to schedule a me meeting, please email me at chris at mathmeeting.com. Once again, chris at mathmeeting.com. I hope you enjoy this video, and take care. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take the derivative of a function using the power rule. Uh, the power rule is the most common and easiest way to take the derivative. Um, you're going to do it all the time. So I'm just going to show you a bunch of examples uh, just to get, give you an idea of how it works. Uh, the first thing I want to let you know is when do we use the power rule? Uh, the power rule is always used when you see an x followed by an exponent. Um, notice you see the function 2x to the fourth. You see the x followed by an exponent of 4, and don't worry about the constant. The constant doesn't uh, change it um, at all. Uh, so let's get started with uh, some examples. So here we have the function 2x to the fourth. Um, if you see the steps that I wrote for you on the bottom left-hand part of the screen, uh, the first step is bring the exponent to the front. So I just copied and pasted to save a little bit of time. And once, our, once again, our first step is to bring the exponent uh, to the front. So notice our four exponent right here. I'm just going to take it and bring it to the front. And I'm going to write a dot in between the four and the two just to show that they're being multiplied by each other. And to our last step, which is subtract the exponent by 1. So notice in the function that we started with a uh, x to the f uh, fourth power. Um, so 4 minus 1 uh, equals 3. So in the derivative, you would write x to the third. So now we have taken the derivative using the power rule. As you can see, it's not completely simplified yet. The 4 can be multiplied by the 2. Uh, so the final answer would just be 4 times 2, which is 8 x cubed. And this is just a really simple example. You probably can do all the steps in your head, but I just wanted to show you uh, all the steps just so you get an idea of how the power rule is used. Um, so let's move on to another example. Here we have the function f of x equals 5. Um, this is another really, really easy example. Um, whenever you take the derivative of a constant, um, it is always 0. Um, that's just a rule of derivation that you need to memorize. So whenever you take the derivative of a constant, um, it is always 0. So the derivative of 5, which is a constant, um, is just 0. And on to our next example. So here we have the function f of x equals the square root of x. Now you don't see x followed by an exponent, um, so how do we take the derivative using the power rule um, in this example? If you remember a rule from algebra, a uh, square root can always be written as a one-half exponent. Um, so instead of writing the square root of x, we can write x to the one-half exponent. Now we just follow our steps. Our first step is just bring the exponent to the front. And our second step is to subtract the exponent by 1. Notice in the function it was uh, x to the 1 half power. So 1 half minus 1 is a negative 1 half. Um, so in the derivative, um, we're going to write x to the negative 1 half power. Now we have taken the derivative of the function using the power rule, except that our answer is not completely simplified. It is very improper to leave a negative exponent. Um, in your answer. Um, so if you remember from algebra, a negative exponent in your numerator is a positive exponent in your denominator. Um, so I'm just going to rewrite uh, the derivative. Um, instead of using a negative exponent, uh, I'm going to rewrite it using a positive exponent. So like I said before, a negative exponent in the numerator is a positive exponent in the denominator. 
So instead of writing an x to the negative one-half in the numerator, I'm going to write it x to a positive one-half in the denominator. And we can't forget about the one-half. Now, since our original function was written in square root form, um, then our final answer should, should be written the same way as well. Um, so, like I said before, uh, a one-half exponent um, is exactly the same as a square root. Um, so instead of writing x to the one-half, I'm going to write x as a square root. And the one-half stays the same. And instead of writing x to the one-half, I'm just going to write x as a square root. Now we have taken the derivative of the function using the power rule. Let's move on to our next example. Here we have the function 4 over x cubed. Um, this function is probably a little confusing for you because it's written as a fraction. Uh, but remember our steps from algebra. A positive exponent in the denominator uh, can be written as a negative exponent uh, in the numerator. So instead of writing it x cubed um, in the denominator, I'm going to write that um, as a negative exponent um, in the numerator. So f of x equals 4 multiplied by x to the negative 3. So now we have our x followed by an exponent. Um, so let's uh, move on to our steps. Um, our first step is bring the exponent to, our, to the front. Uh, so I'm just going to take the negative 3 and move it to the front. And once again, I'm just going to put a little dot in between the negative 3 and the 4 just to show that they're being multiplied by each other. And step number 2 is subtract the exponent by 1. Um, it's a negative 3 in the function, um, so in the derivative, it's negative 3 minus 1, uh, which is negative 4. And the first thing I want to do to simplify this problem is multiply the negative 3 times the 4, which is negative 12, and the x to the negative 4 stays the same. And like I said in the previous example, um, it is very improper to leave a negative exponent um, in your final answer. So instead of writing x to the negative fourth in the numerator, I'm just going to write x to the positive four um, in the denominator. And once again, that's an algebra rule. Uh, a negative exponent in the numerator is a positive exponent in the denominator. So once again, x to the negative fourth in the numerator is x to the positive four in the denominator and our negative 12 stays the same. Now we've taken the derivative of the function using the power rule. And let's move on to our last example. Here we have the function 2x to the fourth plus the square root of x plus 5. Notice all the terms in this function are exactly the same as the examples that I've done for you already in this video. And the reason why I picked the same examples was because I wanted to show you that the power rule can also be used uh, when the terms are being added with each other in the function like you see here. The 2x to the fourth is added with the square root of x and added with a positive 5. Um, so the power rule can still be used um, when the terms are being added with each other. So the derivative of this function is just the derivative of 2x to the fourth which we know is 8x cubed, since we already did that in a previous example, plus the derivative of the square root of x, which we know is 1 over 2 times the square root of x, because we've already done that in a previous example, plus the derivative of 5, uh, which is a constant, so we know that is 0, so we'll leave that out. Um, so the derivative of the function is just 8x cubed plus 1 over 2 times the square root of x. And that is our final answer. Now I took the derivative of 2x to the fourth really quickly because we did it in a previous example. Um, so if you missed any steps on how I got to that answer, uh, just go back to the beginning of this video. Also the same for the square root of x. Um, if you missed steps on how I took the derivative of the square root of x, um, just go back uh, to the beginning uh, of this video and you can see um, how I took the derivative of the square root of x. 
So this is the derivative of our function. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that I gave you a better idea of how to take derivatives um, using the power rule. Um, if you like my videos and you like my style of teaching, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, also, if you'd like to schedule a live online meeting uh, where you can get live help from me, um, just email me at chris at mathmeeting.com. Uh, once again, chris at mathmeeting.com, um, and I would love to help you out. Um, so enjoy my videos, and uh, take care.